Who the fuck is Hikari again? I don't even know who that bitch is. This guy. This guy thinks he's all that. I think we need to put him down a notch. I like this idea. Of course, I'd be honored. Ooh, excellent. This should be a fun. Asumi casts another glance at Hikari. The teacher has taken pity on him and offered to be his partner. He looks embarrassed and sullen, still watching her and Keiji. Let's begin, shall we? They enter the sparring circle together. Ready? Ready? Like lightning, Keiji launches an attack, performing a potentially devastating high kick! Aw, oh, shit. This is how Jean-Claude Van Damme broke his arm by blocking the high kick. We gotta dodge that shit. I don't know if there's any truth to that. I think that was the real Frank Dukes that actually did that. Here's a, here's a little karate lesson for you kids. In the movie Bloodsport, that was actually based on an actual story about Frank Dukes. He was in a match, I believe, where... I don't know if it... I guess it was considered the actual Bloodsport. I'm not sure how those tournaments work. But in the final match... He blocked this dude's high kick with both of his arms at uh, various points in the fight. Ended up breaking both of his arms from blocking that shit. He still won the fight. He kicked the motherfucker to death. He had no arms. And he still won the fucking fight. That is a champion. That is how you get a movie made for yourself and Jean-Claude Van Damme to depict your character. Hells yeah. Asumi... Let's not pull a Frank Dukes and dodge the shit, though. <laughs> Nibbly, assume he dodges the blow. Cage's kick swipes through the empty air. He grunts in frustration. Now it's my turn to strike. Less talky, more kick ass, he assume me. And from a low kick and aim for his legs, send a punch to his gut. Hmm. Well, he just performed a high kick, so I'm assuming he is off balance. We should aim for his legs with the leg sweep. That is. The ultimate Mortal Kombat <laughs> reaction to that, right? Asumi drops down and aims a, aims a kick at Keiji's legs. The move catches him by surprise as he lands with a thud on his back. Ooh! Like a cat, he swings himself back up. Though a look, he looks a little winded. Alright, let's do this! Suddenly he dives down and comes up behind Asumi, wrapping his arms around her shoulders and putting her into a stranglehold. Asumi finds herself blushing at his close proximity in spite of herself. Asumi, okay, when you can't get boned up over boys when you're in the middle of a fight, okay? Save that shit for later, okay? Now throw a bow in his fucking nose. Come on, Asumi, pull it together. Do we... Into his instep? What the fuck is his instep? Oh, I thought it said bow, too. God damn it, that's wishful thinking. Twist and break his grip on you, deliver a bow to his instep. Hmm. What the fuck is an instep? I don't know what an instep is. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do here. I like the idea of twisting and breaking his grip on you. I'm not sure what kind of what kind of hold does he have on me? God damn it, I need details, game. Is he, is he going for the sleeper? Is he going for the guillotine? Is he going for the triangle choke? Is he going for the figure four leg lock? What the fuck is he doing? I don't know what kind of, what he's doing. Okay, you know what? Um, um, let's uh break his grip. We need to break that grip. Sumi tries to pry Keiji's arms off her, but he's clearly stronger than her. With no small effort, she wriggles free, but she gets the feeling he let her off easy. God damn it, the son of a bitch. And this cheeky fucking grin on his face. Fuck this guy. Let's fuck him up. Ugh, you getting tired? He smirks and she hears the mockery in his voice. Suddenly, the sound of a whistle causes everyone to jump. Kami claps her hands. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, I was about to fuck this motherfucker up. God damn it, Kami. Ah, looks like the time is up. Good matches, everybody. I'll be sure to send the result to the presidential squad. Oh, no, no, don't do that. No, I didn't, I didn't break this dude's nose, though. I really wanted to do that. Damn it. Okay, class, this mask, get going, Fox. With a groan, Asumi stands and stretches, trying to release the tension that built up during the match. Good match, Kita. You suddenly get me a run for my money. Oh, uh, thanks. You're really skilled, you fucking asshole. I was gonna fuck you up and give you a little more time to do it, you fucking asshole. What was that? Uh, mumbling is unbecoming of a proper warrior. Uh, you know, I've always had a thing for... Mm. The 
certificates. Uh, I what? Ooh, you have the burn and the beauty. I record that. He creeps into his Sumi's cheeks and she says nothing. She can't decide if she likes this type of attention or finds it creepy from him. I'm pissed that we didn't kick his ass. God damn it. And now he acts like he's better than us? Fuck that shit. I'm pissed. I'm pissed, Sumi. You know what? Here's the plan. We are going to make this guy think that he has a chance. Getting all up in your booty, Asumi. And then when he thinks he has a chance, we're going to snap his goddamn neck. And then we will laugh in his dead face and claim our role is the greatest samurai ever. Because this is clearly the biggest badass of the team. Of the fucking jujitsu squad, okay? That's how we're gonna do, okay? Proper freaking kunoichi style. Yeah! Uh, how about you? Go on a dance with me this Friday! I'd like to get to know you better! Oh, really? Me? Oh, yes! Uh, how about this, baby? Uh. Uh, well, I guess our plan was to seduce him and then kill him. So, kunoichi style, sure, I'd love to. Kenji's the president of the school! Why would he want to go out with me? Doesn't matter though, he could know who the rebel is! He could even be Raven himself! I'd love to! Great! Fred evening it is then! He saunters off... He's... Wait... I think that's supposed to be off, whatever. He saunters off the dojo nonchalantly, assuming he watches him go, then turns when she feels eyes on her. She sees Hikari staring, his brows furrowed, uneasy. She escapes his gaze and heads back to the hallway. You're not gonna shower up after that match? Whatever, Sumi. Okay, that's cool. Not that I was hoping you would. Whatever. This got awkward. Okay. Whoo, what a day! I could just relax in bed, but I did it! But I feel no closer to discovering the true identity of Raven. I should know something by now. I should have some sort of lead. Shouldn't I? Uh, maybe I just... What the fuck? Kiori, hey, what up, girl? How you doing? Who are you talking to? Okay, Kiori! I was just, um, um... Kiori simply smiles playfully. Anyway, we made it through our second proper day! Feels great, doesn't it? It's a relief, that's for sure. By the way, are you in your pajamas? Comfort and do... Don't be silly, since we are back quite early. I was thinking we should go to the pool. It'll be the perfect way to relax. I don't know. That sounds like the perfect way to relax for me. Oh, come on, please. Sure, why the hell not? Oh, why not? Sounds like a fun time. Really awesome! Just the swim soon, let's go! My swimsuit? I usually just go in the buff, like a proper Kanoichi. You don't have one? I, uh, yes. Try it on, and I will meet you outside when you're ready. Uh, okay. All right, I better grab a towel and meet Kaori. The pool is absolutely packed. It seems like every student in the school is splashing in the water or watching the sun's rays on the deck. We are clearly inside game. I see a roof. This is an indoor pool. <sighs> this is something that really bugs me about these fucking visual novels, man. Is when, is when the dialogue is not consistent with the background going on. Come on, man. It's pretty easy. Just read the goddamn script and you base your background accordingly. Whatever, I'm drinking. Fuck this. Let's continue our pool adventure. Looks like everyone else has had the same idea as us. At least the weather is nice. It's inside, damn it. The weather is not even a factor. Woof! Oh shit, who, who is this? Akane? Oh god damn it, there's so many goddamn characters in this game! Fuck! I, I don't I, 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 Fuck! Okay, I'm pretty sure Akane is Russian. <laughs> I don't actually know. Whatever, I'm out of- I'm out of female- Female voices. So you're just gonna have to deal. 
<laughs> I don't even have a fucking Russian voice. Oh, I am sorry. I should look where I am going. No problem. It's it is so crowded here. You're bound to bump it. <laughs> this is not even Russian. <laughs> Whatever. It's some accent. Just fucking deal with it. Okay. Are you? Hey, you're a Connie, right? Oh, ye in your Kyori, right? This is more like Eastern Rus or Eastern European. I don't even know, man. A are Assuming. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, you too. Will at least let me grab you a bottle of scotch to make it up to you. You really don't have to. Wait, that was Carrie. God damn it. Why do their names have to be similar colors? It's really fucking with my show. Don't worry, I'll be back. You stay here, babushkas. She seems nice. She is, but she's a bit of an airhead. If I remember correctly, from last time we spoke. Why don't we? Who the fuck is this? Well, uh, what do we have here? A couple of beautiful water nymphs. <laughs> the name's Ode rhymes with Chode. <laughs> dot a dot, dot a dot, dot a dot. This is an awkward silence. Let's see where this leads. No! But, but I... Uh, no! The boy seems undeterred. He glances around quickly. Uh, guys, I have the babushka water. <laughs> well, what do we have here? A beautiful water nymph. The name's Ode. Runs with Chode and Commode. Oh, if you knowed what I'm getting at, baby. <laughs> I'm into shit porn. That's what I'm into, okay? You like my haircut? It's green, yeah. Totally matches my tank top. High five, yeah. Alright, I'm out. <laughs> Ooh, hey, um, ode that runs with chode and commode and... I got nothing. Need a rhyming dictionary. <laughs> Steers a kind of up. And for a moment, both Asumi and Kiari burst into laughter. Yeah, this guy's a douche. Well, that was interesting. I didn't mean to be so rude to him, but honestly, something like that just isn't my type. So, <laughs> Kaori, this is what I'm doing. Elbow on the desk, leaning forward, beer in hand. Kaori, what is your type? <laughs> oh, uh, why? What is your type? Well, actually, you're not my type. Ow! Did I not call this shit? Did I not fucking call this shit? Like five episodes back, this is the third episode. <laughs> but seriously, like five episodes, I called this shit. These girls swing both ways. Called it. Potential love interest. I knew it. Oh my god. We got so many, so many ladies and dudes trying to get all up in your butt, Asumi. Girl, girl, you got that Kanoichi booty going on. Everybody wanna get up in that. Okay, you deadly and sexy. That is a that is a potent combination, girl. You know you got it going on. You just need more confidence. That's all I'm saying. M -m me? See me heart pounds. She feels herself flush. Carrie looks. Carrie looks. Gazes. Wait, what? Carrie looks. Gazes into her eyes. That doesn't make sense at all. Are we lost in translation here? Whatever. Dot a dot. Suddenly, Carrie lets out a laugh. Anyway, we never got our bottle waters. You still want one? Um, no, I'm good. Why am I so nervous all of a sudden? Snap out of it, Sumi! Aw, oh, shit. So, this girl keeps showing up. And I don't know what her purpose is. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Maybe, theory time, I'm good at these. Sometimes. Not really. Here's how I actually do it. If you throw out enough theories, eventually one of them will be right. Like the theory that these girls swang both ways. Okay, I'm pretty sure all of them do now. <laughs> anyway, I think this girl right here, the one that doesn't talk much, is very quiet, stays in the background, but still seems to be part of the story at all turns, is Raven. That's our target. Let's kill her, bitch ass. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, Sak Sakura here had to rescue me. That guy would have talked your ear off, and I hadn't 
come along. Really? It's an expression, Akane. Oh, right. I do that. Of course. Anyway, that chode always hangs around here, trying to hit on all the girls. Well, it doesn't matter, because I have crush on different boy. Now that you... Now you have to tell us who it is! Yeah, Connie, who is it? Well, um, I, it's, uh, um, it's Zengi from Street Fighter. Oh, come on. She doesn't have to tell. I, I will say, I already said, he is Zengi from Street Fighter. He is sexy bear wrestler. Uh, uh, uh I... Not into bears, if that's what you're thinking, but, um, maybe, I don't know, we don't, we don't think different in Russia. <laughs> Hold on, do I have Russian subscribers? Should I be offending them? Okay, I apologize, Russia. Actually, Zangief is awesome. I fucking love Zangief, okay? Zangief is seriously one of my favorite characters in Street Fighter. I'm pointing in the air right now for no reason. I'm assuming towards Russia, okay? Russia, you're alright, okay? The whole Cold War thing, in the past. Alright, it's all good. I'm sorry about your economy, by the way. I'm sorry that Apple could buy you right now. Uh, I shouldn't bring that up. That's touchy subject. <laughs> Not only could Apple buy them, their uh, stock market, that is, they could do that and give all the citizens of Russia a an iPhone. That's how rich slash poor Russia is right now. Russia, don't unsubscribe! I love you! <laughs> In the lunch lady saw me looking at him and told me all about him. She had such a ghost up the beach. A gossip? Yes, she overhears all the conversations in the cafeteria. Since she's always there, she knows everything. What a busybody. Can't she mind her own business? Well, I did get to learn about my crush, the sexy Zangief. Hmm, maybe this lunch lady knows something about the rebel group. It's worth a try at least, and not frisky at all. This could be the lead I need. Really? Lunch lady is your lead, Asumi? This is not very badass Kanoichi of you, I'm saying. Now, how good are Kanoichi at detective work? If this is any indication of that, then I'm going to say not very good. <coughs> I coughed. I'm sorry. Well, we're going to swim for a bit later. Hey, can you worry? I'm a little hungry. When we're done here, let's grab a bite to eat in the cafeteria. Sounds good to me. Asumi smiles to herself. It seems she can always count on Kaora to be agreeable. She leans back and lets the sun's rays warm her skin inside the fucking building. How does that work? <laughs> Feeling like she's on the right track for the first time all week. Really? Asumi. Asumi. Really? We're asking the lunch lady. Really? That's our lead? God damn it. Whatever. A fur, another hour of relaxing at the pool, Kari and Asumi head off to the cafeteria to eat. We're we not gonna change out of our swimsuits for the cafeteria? Nothing? No? Okay, whatever. I sure am glad you suggested this! Suddenly I'm starving! Oh look, it's Jiren and Hero! Remember them? Let's go sit with them! Oh, is this Beavis and Butthead? I'm pretty sure it's Beavis and Butthead. But she glances at the lunch lady, who's busy doling out portions to her students. Her interrogation will have to wait for a bit. Sure, let's go! You take a seat at the table with Jiro and Hero, who look to be in the middle of an argument. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was the 4th of the century, not the 5th. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, you must have noodles in your brains, bruh. You don't remember anything. <laughs> Dumbass. What on earth is going on? Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> here, I here, can't remember the stuff we learned just this week in literature. <laughs> what a dumbass. Ugh, oh, God. Fuck a beavis. <laughs> and you're wrong. <laughs> Let's settle an argument for us. Was Life of an Empress written in the 4th century or the 5th? <laughs> Fucking nerd. Uh, I don't fucking know. Is this a real book? I'm just gonna say, in these situations, 
Let us just project like we know what we're talking about. I like this idea. Actually, it was written in the uh, 6th century. <laughs> it was? Uh, I think I just mixed the voices up, whatever. <laughs> so we're both wrong? <laughs> oh, <laughs> So we've established that you didn't learn much. How's this week going for you otherwise? <laughs> well, uh, really great. <laughs> we've been making all sorts of friends. <laughs> when, when I say friends, I mean, <laughs> we've been watching a lot of TV. <laughs> Me? I said you and Hero? <laughs> of course. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you guys are a couple. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well played, Kaori. They're gonna need some aloe for that, because they just got burned. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> no way. No. Just, just up. Just up one time. It was a. It, it was a joke. It, it wasn't, um, uh, it, it, let's just drop it. That's okay. I think it's adorable. <laughs> we're, we're not like, I, I like, I like girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, I swear. Uh, I mean, no homo. I mean, except that one time, you, you know, you remember Jiro when, you know, at uh, summer camp when, uh, you know, uh, 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 you woke up and uh, somehow my, my, Something was never mind. Okay, it had nothing to do with something being in someone's mouth. Okay, yeah. if you say so. <laughs> Carrie gives the Sumi a wink. For some reason, the action makes her blush a little. She wishes she were as easygoing and fun as her friend. We uh, uh we should get going. We're definitely not gonna make out or anything. <laughs> Together, I bet. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Let's go. I should go too. Are you coming, Kasumi? Um, yeah, I'll meet you back at the door. Okay, don't take too long. Kira leaves with Jiro and Hiro, finally allowing Kasumi to do what she came here for. And the lunch lady is unoccupied too. Now's a chance! She tries to approach the target as nonchalantly as possible. Is this the nonchalant episode? I have noticed we have used the word nonchalantly at least three times so far. It's a good word, I'm saying. Might need a thesaurus. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, hey there. Great, um, food today. <laughs> the lounge lady. <laughs> the lounge lady. Leon. Would you like some sloppy joes? Well, thanks, little lady. Much appreciated. I know how you like your sloppy joes. Extra sloppy. Uh, what, well, what will get her talking? <laughs> Can we play sloppy? <laughs> Talk about sloppy Joes. <laughs> Can we start a vicious rumor about Jiro and Hero? I like that idea. <laughs> so, did you hear about Jiro and Hero? They did something non heterosexual at summer camp. Haha, <laughs> the new initiates? Nah, what about them? Were they doing something to slap it? <laughs> well, apparently Hero has already gotten into trouble for being summer. He shouldn't. Oh, we got a chief for that. We're spreading vicious rumors about Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> oh, I heard about that. And what, of, what does that have to do with Jiro? Ooh, I hope it was Slappy! Well, I heard there were a couple. What? Well, they're always together, never leave each other's sides, and they're totally making out all the time. Well, that is quite sloppy. Ooh, that news will break several girls' hearts, I think, and some of the boys as well. Really? Mmm, it's best to be sloppy about this, you know. Oh, now I see. I heard that Hero was found in the sloppy dorm room. But maybe the two were found together instead. Ooh, so sloppy! It is possible. I don't know why he got into trouble, only that it might be linked. I hope something comes of this, otherwise I may have thrown Jiro and Hero into our rumor mill for nothing. For nothing? How is that for nothing? It's for freaking grins and giggles, which is totally worth it. 
Well, I never. I will have to warn a few girls how sloppy this boy saw. Ooh, I know two who are going to ask him out for a sloppy weekend together. Speaking of couples, I heard about your class president, KJ. Mm, you just going to get sloppy, ain't you, girl? Mm, like this sloppy, stupid lady like I Pardon? It's not official, but I think Sin and KJ are a couple. Mmm, they get so sloppy together. Oh, yes, they are always together getting sloppy for official functions and social sloppy ones. <laughs> Quite a scandal. This leader of the presidential unit sleeping with the liaison. Sleeping? Well, this may be an academy, but we are all sloppy adults here. <laughs> I see. So there's probably something sloppy going on between them. Oh, do you have to keep saying sloppy all the time? It's getting a little weird. What do you mean? The presidential, <laughs> the student president, and the underclassman liaison might have to try going on. Ooh, that sloppy stuff. This is all. This is probably all I will get out of this gossipy woman. It's a little disappointing, really. That's what I said, Asumi. Okay? This is a lunch lady. This is a shit lead. But whatever. We started a vicious rumor out of the deal. So that made it a made it a positive, I suppose. So, I don't mean to cut this short, but should you get back to doing sloppy things with them sloppy girls? Oh my... Oh, you might catch a chill being in your sloppy swimsuit still. Mmm, so sloppy! Whoops, I'd better go. I promised Kaori I wouldn't take too long. This just got really dumb. <laughs> this got really dumb. Hey, I'm having fun though. I'm having fun with this, so I think we're gonna keep it going. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna drink beers for every one of these episodes. I might. In fact, I have I have a lot of beers left, so I might just do that. So, we'll continue this next time. I'll see you then. Later.